So, hey, good morning, everybody. And uh, we're at our local Walmart. And uh, I haven't been in here in two months. With all the reports and everything that people are talking about and emailing me and everything else, I want to go in and see what's going on for myself because, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on in here. I haven't been in here in quite a while. So I also want to go in here and I'm going to show you guys $10 a week. You can start your preps. And I want to make sure that people are being prepared. That's the whole thing. Uh, with everything that's going on, like I stated in my live stream this past week, we have to really get on the ball right now because uh, a lot of things are going south really quick and we need to be prepared. So let's go inside and see what is going on and also what we can do with $10 a week out of our budget and make sure that we are putting away food for a rainy day. So here we go. Oh, I just love shopping this early in the morning. There's nobody in the stores. Oh, this is so great. We're just strolling down through here, looking at all the different prices and everything else. Store looks pretty neat and clean. I mean, hey, I'm pretty impressed. Oh yeah, there's still some Christmas junk. Yep, and we're just scrolling down through here. Of course, you know, there's pallets of stuff everywhere because the back rooms are so crammed full. And we're going back here and see if there's any clearance. This is where they usually carry all the clearance items, but I'm not seeing it. It looks like they're putting out all the summertime stuff that they had stored away. Oh, here comes two ladies are carrying out another, looks like a stand or something, a box of some types of goodies. Well, hey, yeah, we got the pool supplies and weed eaters and everything else is back out. Yep and grill supplies wow oh look there's some seeds and flowers i'm not gonna go outside let's go down through here and let's see what we can find oh here we go this is what i was looking for all the old merchandise you can look at these boxes and tell they've been around a while look at the holes in them the dirt the dust they've been wet so they must have been inside some one of those trailers that they have out back and they're gonna sell it to you as brand new and they'll sell it to you at full price Yes. Oh, and there's some lawnmowers. Man, this lawnmower looks like it's been too well. Holy cow, that thing's crushed. Yeah, I'd buy that for full price. Oh, yeah. Now we come over here. Well, we got Coleman. We got Coleman 2 pack, 987. Well, at least they do have some. They have quite a few. Only on the top shelf, though. You're going to have to really stretch a while to get those. Look at the price of these light bulbs, folks. I mean, light bulbs. I mean, come on. This is just ridiculous. And I had to buy a pack. Found the cheapest ones I could just for outside. You know, with the light outside the front porch and stuff. Wow. The prices of light bulbs are just ridiculous. Rice. We have a problem here, folks. There is no rice whatsoever. I mean, look at this. This is scarce. Uh, my little dinky store here doesn't have hardly anything. And they're great value. Uh, well, yeah, they do have some, but it's right over here. And look at this little stack of great value. That's it. Wow. What are we going to do? Look at the soup. I mean, the soup aisle. I mean, look at the prices of just Campbell's soup. I mean, the price is $1.72 a can. I mean, come on, folks. I mean, even the, the Walmart brand is $0.92. Cents. I mean, this is just getting to be ridiculous. Baked beans. Look at this. $1.52 for an 8-ounce can of baked beans. $1.52. Unbelievable, folks. Sugar and flour. The flour section is, well, a little bit less desirable. They did have a lot more sugar. The price of flour has gone way up. And uh, used to be able to get uh, five pounds of flour for a dollar something, and now it's two twelve. And a bigger box is uh, three and change. I don't know. These trash bags here, I talk about always having trash bags. The three mil or bigger. These will not work. These are only a one point zero five milliliter. Do not buy anything less than three milliliters. They did not have any whatsoever. So you're going to have to shop around, probably get them online. Uh, Amazon would probably be your best bet if you're looking to score 
some trash bags, uh, three mil or larger. So you want three mil to six mil because Walmart didn't have any. And the price of just regular trash bags is ridiculous. I mean, this one here is only a two mil and that ain't gonna do anything. It's gotta be at least a three mil or more. Eggs, look at the price of a dozen eggs. Oh Lord, 465. Yep, I ended up buying a two pack of the 18 eggs right over here. Yep, and this lady saw I was recording, but she didn't say anything. And here we go, I got the two pack of 18 eggs. So it was 36 eggs for $13.44. Ouch, I'm telling you. It is, uh, it's getting a little scarce out here, folks, and uh, expensive. I don't know how people are affording to survive. I'm going to start freezing mine, I believe. I tell you, it's just getting, it's getting really bad. Can't believe the prices of these eggs. And I had to stand here for a second because I was being watched. So then I move on down. I got to get out of here because somebody's going to find me. Oh, wait, butter. Two pounds of butter, 858. Wow. You know, one pound is, well, 448. We need to buy a cow, folks. You got to start making your own butter. And I hope nobody wants to do any Italian. Because the ricotta cheese section is empty. I tell you, meat. Well, <laughs> this store's meat section always looks like a uh, tornado went through it. They did have some pork. A uh, little bit, uh, they had a couple things of pork chops. That was it. A little bit of turkey. And the chicken was pretty scarce too. And the chicken prices are keep rising. Yes, they kept saying that we're going down. Still, after so many months, we still do not have quality formula for the kids and babies. It's just freaking ridiculous, folks. I'm telling you, how long this has been going on? I've been reporting this.